folks, Joe here again. I'm just uh, going to show you how to make a really quick and simple little Rogan Josh curry. Now we all like our curries, but some of us don't like them too spicy. So this one I'm going to keep the heat right down, but the flavour right up. So uh, I've just got some onion and some meat here that I'm finishing browning off, and then I'll start adding all the rest of the ingredients. So in this curry I've got about 500 grams of lamb and a couple of roughly chopped onions. You can substitute and use beef or chicken for this recipe as well. I've also got two cans of uh, crushed tomatoes. So uh, they just need to go in now that the lamb and the onions are all beautiful and brown. We just need to pop the uh, cans of tomatoes in as well. Now because I don't want my curry to be too hot and spicy so then everybody can enjoy it, I've just got a medium Rogan Josh paste. Now I'm just going to put about the equivalent to about three tablespoons of this paste in and uh, I'm just going to do a bit of a guesstimate today. So it's three and we've also got the tomatoes. Now we just need to stir them all around and allow that to simmer for about 30, 35 to 40 minutes, just on a nice low heat, and then that uh, meat will all break down and become delicious and everything will all fall apart. So our Rogan Josh has been simmering away in our little camp oven, which we're actually using on top of the butane um, stove today because uh, we just want this to be quick and easy and simple. 30 minutes this has been simmering away for, so now all I have to do is just add about a cup of peas and a 200 gram pot of yoghurt. Okay, so in goes the yoghurt and about a cup of peas. Should be about that many. So there you have it. It can be as easy as that. All you need to do now is just let this cook and let it simmer a little bit longer for about five minutes or so. So in the space of one hour, you've got yourself a delicious curry that's not too spicy. Everybody can enjoy it and even the kids will love it as well. It can be had with rice or with naan bread or it can be eaten just on its own. So if you'd like the full recipe, it's in this uh, cookbook of mine, uh, Joe Clues Australian Camp Oven Cooking. And that's available all through all uh, good camping stores and bookshops. Uh, so I'm Joe Clues and hope you join me next time.